Reformed Church Palace In 1909, the Reformed Church commissioned the designs of the building from Edemagyar, also called the Hungarian Gaudi, who was one of the most significant architects of the era. His name is almost unknown outside of Szeged, although, considering his work, he should be ranked high among the greatest European artists. He was given little attention in the Hungarian architectural history because he did not belong to any of the circles of his contemporaries. A country builder who did not work in the capital, he was self-taught in his architectural creativity and art. He improved his theoretical knowledge from foreign journals and traveled several times to the art centers of Western Europe, to Vienna, Munich, Paris and Brussels. His short career ended tragically at the age of 35. The three-story block was built on a pentagonal estate. The two wings, positioned in a V-shape, embrace a courtyard in the middle. The Art Nouveau facade of the palace is pleasant to the eye, especially the beautiful, colorful mosaics that sparkle in the sunshine. One of the mosaics alludes to the mysteries of plowing and sowing, the other to those of reaping. The characteristic features of Art Nouveau can also be seen in the stucco work. The courtyard being open to the street, we can admire the elaborately elegant wrought iron railings of the balconies. The front facades are sectioned by arches spanning whole floors, a wide string course, a capricious cornice and variously formed windows and balconies. The palace was completed in 1911. Originally, it housed apartments, the school of the Reformed Church, and the parsonage of the Reformist Congregation of Calvin Square. Opposite the building, there used to be a wine and bourrage market for a long time. 